Hello again, thanks for clicking on by, and welcome to day six with the Galaxy Book 2. It's been a very interesting week, almost a week, with this foldable laptop, tablet, uh, netbook, whatever you want to call it. And let me show you what I've learned, and I'm also going to answer some questions that people have made in the comments below. Here we go. So just a normal morning, you know, just sitting in the hotel lobby, trying to uh, absorb vacation mode. And I wanted to connect to the internet. So I looked at my notes and day four installed Minecraft. Well, we'll just go back to day one. Day one, why did I buy this? Day two, do I need this if my MacBook and Apple iPad are still functioning? Day three, okay, the portability factors are pretty sweet. Day four, installed Minecraft. Yeah, pretty fun, kids like it. Day five, could not connect to the internet. Day six, which is today, uh, Wi-Fi issues with the hotel only, but I tried to do a hotspot from my Samsung phone, so Samsung to Samsung, that should have worked. But as you can see, it's not working, and I forgot the network, I reconnected it, and even after I reconnected the network, it still didn't work. So I've restarted, I've cleared cache, uh, I don't know if it has antenna problems, but it's really frustrating because with modern day devices, yeah, if you can't connect to the internet, there's only so much you can do. I've been playing around with Samsung Note. The writing's okay. At least I can show you that. Let me show you. Or let me demonstrate. One thing I really like to test is how devices capture video without any audio help. So right now I'm talking to you directly into, <laughs> right now I'm talking directly into the Samsung Galaxy Flip. No cords, no wires. Let's see how that works with this Galaxy Book Pro 360 Samsung laptop. Boots up really quickly. Boom, lock, okay, un unlock, there we go. So now that it's booted up, I can, should be able to just click on start. Type in camera, there we go. Allow, sure, you can access my camera. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, so now we're recording directly on the Galaxy Book. It does 1080, 30 frames per second. How's the audio? And I can't flip it around or anything, but yeah. So I'm actually in a pretty, I mean, I'm right by a window. So the lighting seems to be not bad. Let me move it a little farther back. How's that? So if I was on a really big desk and I was trying to do a webinar, this would be the audio you would get directly from the device with no external mics. So I'm gonna start my workout on the row machine and that was the audio test. Pick the comments, type those down below. Let's do a quick sound and temperature test on the Galaxy Book 2. All right, when I'm not talking, our room noise is about 40 decibels. So now we'll crank up the volume of Roblox to 100%. Bruh. How come when I want to measure the noise of something, it doesn't make any noise? <laughs> How do you make the game make noise? I don't know. There we you go. You die. You die. <laughs> hey, that's a cool character. So when you want something tested, sometimes you can't test it yourself. And I'm trying to figure out the good points and the bad points about this Galaxy Book 2 by Samsung. So I hired some kids. Let me show you. Okay, kid, what do you think of the Galaxy Book 2? Good. It's kind of like that one, except it looks a little it's kind, of, it's kind of like the MacBook. And the screen is a little thinner, I feel like. It is thinner. It's pretty easy to type with. Is the fan going? Oh, yeah it is. Let's the see if we can hear it. Good. Yep, I can hear the fan. But you can't hear the fan when the volume's on. So how do you feel about 
the touchpad then? I don't know. <laughs> well, like, it's hard to click, but, like, moving your hands is fine. Like, if I do this, it's fine, but if I, like, click, it's kind of hard. So there you go. From, from the mouths of babes, is that how the expression goes? What? She thinks the touch sensitivity is okay, and the touchpad on the MacBook Air, which is 2019, is actually better. What else would you like to say? Um, I mean, it kind of feels the same, but like, I feel like since this one's kind of new, it hasn't been touched as much, so maybe that could be the reason why it's kind of hard to click. Just more, I don't know. So maybe the device needs to be broken in. So the fan is running, we know that much. The screen is good, it's not overheating. Let's come back in five minutes. I'll give you uh, five more minutes of testing the Galaxy, Books, Galaxy Book 2 playing Roblox. Sound good? Yes. There you go, decibel level was around 65, but it can go a lot louder. Ooh, 103. Okay, touch your finger right there. Does that feel warm or cold? Warm. Shit. Sure, and let's check the back. Oh, not too bad. Let's check your MacBook Air. Ooh, 103, 102, 90, oh, 100, 103, 104, 105. Okay. Huh, about the same. Parkour. So no pixelation, right? Game is smooth. Maybe. <laughs> Except the fact that I'm dying. Yeah. I found lava. Yeah, the Samsung can't help whether you die or not. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Stay off the lava. Bro, that's not gonna help. <laughs> all I'm doing here is watching one video. That's all that's open. One tab, and the fan came on. Why is the fan coming on if only one app is open and I'm just running a video at 1080p? There we go. Now the fan is turning off again. I don't know. Hey, this is a great video though. Remarkable 2, perfectly balanced. I highly recommend you give that a watch. Meanwhile, I mean, it's not hot. Just once in a while that fan kicks on, other people are not saying that same fact. Well, that's new. An air of unresol unresolvable nature has occurred. We've encountered a particularly stubborn issue, so sit tight while we try to reconnect you. The screen will update automatically. All right, let's see what happens here. And then, strange. Refresh. Well, if that happens again, I'll let you know. Well, wasn't that fun? I like shooting on location and when I'm on vacation. So on vacation, on location. Bend is an awesome city. I highly recommend it. And yes, so is the entire state of Oregon. This foldable device, almost a full week, actually more than a full week now, and I like it. It's a nice device. I can't keep, <laughs> let me refrain. Let me uh, rephrase. I, I have a hard time not comparing it to a MacBook and an iPad because it's kind of both. Now it has the name Pro, and when you think Pro, you think, well, professional. That's what I'm struggling with. Let me show you a few things. Okay, so that was day six, and yeah, that was interesting. So we're on day six, day f to a Tuesday. So Wednesday was zero four zero 
06. Thursday, 0407. Today is 0408. Seven, eight, nine. Day nine. <laughs> so kind of went over, one, why did I buy this? Two, do I need this if I have a MacBook and an Apple iPad or, and they're still functioning? Day three, I went to, well, uh, okay, the portability factors are pretty sweet. Day four, I installed Minecraft. That was fun. Day five, couldn't connect to the internet, which you saw that. Day six, again, Wi-Fi issues at the hotel. And trust me, I removed Wi-Fi, tried again. So the speakers, kind of a little smudge. The speakers are right here and they're they're all right. I'll just say that. They're they're okay. What <laughs> uh, again the word the word pro, I expected a professional laptop, and to be honest, when I put this at max volume, I'm not like, whoa, that's really loud. The sound quality is good. I mean, it says right there, uh, AKG, so that's good, right? It's just gonna depend on your environment. I was able to crank up the, well, let me just show you. So let's talk battery life. So you open it, that's nice. Boom, fingerprint. I've been using this all day, and if we use the stylus, go to battery life. Oh, come on, there we go. I am at 12%. So we can see right here. Now this is this is one thing cool. I do like how it just lays completely flat. I've never had a laptop do that before. So now if we go to view detailed info, love the touch screen. So screen on daily average, two hours and 51 minutes. That's not that great, right? I'm not thinking so. I mean, I was able to get everything done that I need to, so that part's good. And then if we go to the seven day, so that's the seven day average, two hours and 24, one hour, I didn't use it much, 23, three hours and 14 minutes, all right. And then today, it says the screen on was the screen on time was four hours and fifty two minutes. So that's just going to depend on your usage. For the most part, I had it on screen brightness cranked all the way up like that, so I can see it. I like a bright screen. That's just me. So, yeah, the battery life is good. It's not as good as a MacBook Air. I'll just be honest with you. And then let's talk writing apps. I tried the Samsung Note app. So if we type Samsung Notes, Samsung Notes were not that great. I was disappointed. And I mean, the notes look nice, and especially, you know, and I fold it like that. But, whoops. Sometimes you get not ghost touches, but accidental touches. There we go. So right here, yeah, um, you, there's not a lot of writing space. So then I went to OneNote. So right here, so notice that I can't, ah, here we go. This part I really like, how I can just type or write and it finds my apps. And it's quite intuitive when it comes to that. But if you see that, it's not zippy. So now we have this personalize. Okay, not right now, finish. So now we have a full writing canvas. Oh, see right, right, oh, okay. Did you see, what was that? <laughs> Some people are saying the palm touches aren't happening, but I just showed you. Let's try that again. No, I want to maximize, okay. The stylus, not a big fan, and I can't get it to do any sound while I'm writing. I like that shh, shh, shh you know, this kind of sound. 
but I, but I don't get that. So we did have some questions. Would I buy this for school? And this is by Wow Wow. Yeah, let's talk about that. So Wow Wow, um, would I buy this for school? Yes, for a high school student, undergrad, graduate, maybe not so much because I think it might not be powerful enough. The other thing that I've noticed over the last nine days is when you are writing, the keyboard, I mean, it's disabled right now. So when I'm pressing on the keys, it feels really awkward <laughs> to say the least. But, but now I'm zoomed out and look how small that font goes. That's pretty cool that you can do that. Okay, another question by, I'm not even gonna say this name. Fan noise, Minecraft, yep, it kicked in. And earlier today, when I was only watching one video and then I had another browser open, not connected to a monitor, I had it in laptop form. So right now it's a notebook and I had it open like that and the fan kicked on. So right now I have two browsers open and one note, no fan, so that's good. The fan noise, I wasn't expecting the fan to kick in that much, and I'm kind of surprised that they can't mimic <laughs> or even copy Apple and create a laptop like this that doesn't have the fan noise. Okay, number three, another question about audio quality. Again, the audio quality is good, it just doesn't go loud enough. I can get it to go to about 70 decibels, I'll do some more testing with that, but yeah. So gaming online, uh, Claude wanted to know if it would pass as a gaming laptop. I was able to play Minecraft, I'm able to play Roblox, uh, and then I'm getting with a friend, hopefully tomorrow, and we're gonna test some Xbox games with the controller, which is something this is supposed to do. One more question by LPN. The FHD on the 15 inch, any pixels? No, I haven't noticed any pixels or any trouble with the screen. I did have a smaller, let me show you. And that's it. We're gonna do a quick charging test with the OEM charger. Here it is, by Samsung. <laughs> Nothing like the original charger. So we'll plug this in, let me show you. So let's see how fast this will charge. So again, three USB ports, USB-C ports, which I really like. So now it's plugged in, and then right here, click. Hmm. There we go. So now it's at 10%. So now it's at 10% and we'll see what's going on. So we'll just kind of, whoops, whoops. We'll turn down the brightness. There we go. Time until fully charged, two hours and 21 minutes. So now if I turn the brightness even more, and there's the fan, it just kicked in. I wasn't even doing anything. Oh, now the fan turned off. So down to 10%, two hours and 21 minutes till full. Time of life, 1859. I'm gonna close this, let it rest, and I'll show you a couple other things when it's fully charged, or halfway, yeah. Hey Siri, set timer. 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Starting now.